Hello and welcome to another one of my videos and in today's video it's going to be more of an educational one than a look what stock I bought today but I did buy these today actually but uh they're just sovereigns you know there's nothing really that special about them they come from my local guy um yeah I was meant to buy them a few days ago and I totally forgot about it so yeah in today's video I'm going to talk about what I call strong hand versus weak hand with gold and it also happens in silver as well so for those of you who do follow my videos, I always say that I prefer fractional gold. I like the smaller gold because I can move it pretty quickly. And I think with small gold, you're coming from a position of strength and you have a strong hand when selling it because there's a lot of people that can afford it. It doesn't mean you're gonna get the price you want, but it's gonna be more buyers competing for the same type of coins. When you get to the larger stuff such as this, there's going to be less buyers because less buyers can afford a coin such as this. It's just under an ounce, so 98% of an ounce. It's just out of the reach of most people these days. Someone took me over to Coles a couple of months back and he said, oh, it's just your theories and your your ideas and it's a bit of BS. And I, I didn't really take offense to it, but I asked him to explain himself. And he never actually got back to me, which is okay. but. The idea is the larger up you go, the less people there is who can buy, which will give you a weaker hand when selling. So I'll explain exactly what happened because it's the perfect example to explain the theory that I've kind of been working on. All I do is I, I take a look at how the world is, is working and it's in a constant state of fluidity. It, it changes on a daily basis, uh, a weekly basis, you know, monthly basis. And it's just different market components, so different people buying and selling and the price moves sometimes the prices are, are higher than they should be and sometimes they're lower than they should be now i put this up for auction i i tried to sell it to a regular and he wasn't too keen on it he just said i'll give you this price and i said okay i'll take my chances um it's actually grown on me but he said it's not it, it's not great you know I, i'd buy it but if the price was really really good and i was like okay fair enough i'll, I'll auction it off and i put it up at spot plus postage we have no reserve and no one bid on it that wouldn't have happened with these it would not have happened if i put these up for spot plus postage these would have flown there would have been multiple bidders even if it's a, a bad time of the month where there's not a lot of money in the markets it would have been the case that there would have been some bidders on these because they would have bought it and they would have flipped it or they would have put it in their stack as a cheap play because naturally, when you're, if you put something like this in an auction, you, you're going to be getting spot plus two, spot plus, plus three. There is an upper limit to the ceiling. So I, I pay spot for these and I, I paid 98% for this. However, I couldn't move this because essentially I had a weak hand. Now, I would have had a strong hand had I bought for spot plus or oh, spot minus 10% or oh, spot minus 5%. I could have just moved the goalposts and said, I'm auctioning off at 2% under spot. And people would have bought it. They would have jumped on it regardless because it would have been such a bargain. It's it's kind of irrelevant to me, spot. It, it just moves and it, it doesn't mean much to me, but it means a lot to a lot of people. It's the natural benchmark that, that moves. But I had a weak hand with this and I lost. There were some people afterwards said, oh, I'll buy it for that price. And I just said, no chance. I was like, no, it's worth more. I was like, had I had one bid, I would, obviously I would have sold it. I said, okay, fair enough. Some you win, some you lose. And it would have gone for spot plus post, but no one bid on it. So no one coughed up the money and that's okay. You know, I'm, I'm currently sitting on it. I personally think gold is going higher. I'm happy to, to hold it for a while. I might relist it at the end of the month for spot plus two. You know, it depends where spots are. It depends what my, my finances are like. You know, I've got a lot of stock in at the moment that needs moving on, but I've had a lot of excess over the last two months. So I made enough in the last two months to last me seven months, to cover me seven months for my bills. So I've had a really, really good two months. I, I have a strong hand in the sense that I can hold on to it. But had I not had a strong hand in terms of my cash flows, I would have had to sell for a price that I didn't want to. So that's what I mean by a strong hand and weak hand. I had a stronger hand on this, but I had a weak hand when selling. Strong hand for holding, weak hand for selling. 
I've got a strong hand on these when buying and selling because realistically my supply gets 98%. I give him spot, so he makes a few extra pennies. So this one isn't in the best condition. It's okay, you know, it's the half. Again, it's it's not fantastic, but there's there's enough money in it for me to to do okay. You know, it's not a problem. So yeah, it's just a small educational tip. You know, trader's trick or whatever. Like these things happen. You know, am I upset that this didn't go? It's actually growing on me. Believe it or not, I when I got it, I was like, this is a really like meh coin. Uh, but it is growing on me. Uh, you know, I. I guess I could keep it, you know, I've got the cash flow to keep it, but it will be moving at some point. <laughs> so yeah, if you do like my content, please support me. You know how to support me, you've watched my videos enough, you know. I do wanna preach, I wanna give out a shout out to Silver Husky actually, because he, I went on one of his live feeds and he dropped my link in and I got a lot of subs that way. I, I didn't ask him to, like, I, I watched his live feed because I was just about and I was doing some packing and I, he talks a lot of sense. I, I like what he's about. You know, he, he's a trader like myself. I don't think he's a professional trader, but I think he's got he's got the mindset to do it. So I'd, I'd happily do a, a video with him if that's, if, if that's what we can do, you know. So yeah, I'll catch you on the next one, boy.